people we've had so many overwhelming online like marketing about AOE and then people we are excited about AOE we don't even know what to expect we see all those great stuff AOE students are achieving like we have this thing that would I be that student or I'm just going to be another student lost in the whole community so yes this video is to understand the community better so if you are if you would like to know more about the AOE community yes please continue watching and I hope you find my tips helpful you find them useful you connect with them or you relate to them and if you're continuing to watch this please comment down below tips that i did not already share or tips that you agree more let me know what you think about it so yes right into the okay so basically everyone joining the aou community or is already part of the community must have heard that classes will continue online because of the whole this whole COVID situation that has not really cleared up yet so classes will continue online until january and then like i i don't know how i feel about that but i was re i didn't even want to go initially because they gave us the options to stay home or come back to campus for online for in-person classes but i thought it would be nice to stay home because going back was just so much protocols like you have to get tested i'm like mm -mm, mm -mm. like what if you try to get into study get it i'm like i can't stress myself already i'm happy being home so alhamdulillah i'll just stay home until january when everything has cleared and maybe we don't have to go through that much protocol so basically oh yeah if you watch my videos like if you watch my other videos you notice that this is a new background i don't know i'll tell you guys what happened to the old one so i'm so i like the other one but something happened and i can't even use it anymore so I don't know i'll tell you guys maybe at the end if i'm not talking too much but <laughs> right into the video so basically this video is going to be about i'll share with you five things you should you, you have to know before joining the aou community for september e-join even though you're e-joining you still have to connect with people you still have to be part of the community so this tips i'm sharing with you hopefully would guide you through joining like help you get used to the community help you know what is available in the community and help you know how you can benefit from the aou community or how you can benefit from AOU class so yeah so i'm going to share with you five tips you have to know before joining the aou community or before joining any college in your first year or something or maybe you can be a continuing student and maybe you missed out on that this is the time to rebrand yourself sit down and relax and know what you should do right and wrong so yeah the first tip i'll say is on your journey this is college it's not high school it's not anybody competes and this is you doing what you love and hopefully finding ways in you that you could be beneficial in the community at large so please don't rush yourself don't pressure yourself don't put yourself under any obligation to be to be looking at what someone else is doing yes look at the great stuff your friends are doing take it as an inspiration and then use it to empower yourself do you get it and then no circumstance should you feel like someone is getting where you want to be before you are getting so you then have to pressure yourself to, i don't know so yeah the first tip is to own your journey so even at aoe they tell us to own our journey like everybody's journey everybody's path is different we the, how we get to our journey how we get to our end goal is very different so please don't look at someone else's shine and think that your shine is not shining any brighter do you get it i know how well to put it but please it's okay naturally you get overwhelmed you see people doing great stuff and want to be them and wonder how they are even getting there in the first place also yeah so I would say when immediately you start to think about such things, think about yourself. How can I get there? Like, do you get this? What what value can I add to myself that will take me there? So instead of thinking so much about someone else's business, own your journey by thinking about how you can add that spice to yourself. What skill you can learn? What you could do? Which character building can you add to yourself that would help you achieve it you get it so basically you find yourself learning skills you find yourself going to when you find yourself learning skills reading finding just doing things like being pro like being proactive at owning your own journey you realize that things will begin to work well for you you get so busy developing yourself that you don't even think about other people and yes you might not get the best you might not get what is presumed as the best but think about internally do i think what i have is the best and that should be all for you do you get it don't look at what don't think about the words enforcement think about what enforcement you have in your heart that would stamp whatever success you gain do you get? it could be some small win but to you mean everything and that's what should matter to you do you get it you didn't wait for the world to applaud you applaud yourself and know that you are getting there you know what you want and this is really what you wanted so that small win celebrated so yeah the next step i'll say is make friends like aou is a very diverse campus like we have people from all over africa so just imagine cultures 
like we all we are different a lot of differences like people believe in different things like you have someone that doesn't even believe your culture or something and then it's okay it's it's not wrong it's not right it's just different and difference is okay you meet a lot of people that you don't even you'd be like oh my god like how like how do you even believe in this but that's okay just just don't it's a safe space by the way so you can't go pointing out someone culture and being like ah oh, nah this is not this you don't do that at AOU so you have to get used to and live with them whether you like it or not you get it unless maybe the person is just stepping on your toes and making you super uncomfortable that's when the person is not creating an, a safe space for you that's when you can reach out to students life and make students life help you about solving that but things tribal issues like maybe the person doesn't be, think that um i don't know but an instance could be that you have a roommate that smokes do you get it and smoking is okay you get it maybe the only person cannot just smoke in your room but the person smoke life is not your business the person can go ahead and smoke not in the room but maybe this person is smoking outside they shouldn't bother you so much because it's a person's life you get it so that part of it you don't you can't go out there and tell the person that what you're doing is not nice you go to hell please we don't do that you so just know that you make friends you mind your business you don't be in your friends faces you get it you give them you respect their culture respect their values unless they invite you to give them a suggestion please don't you get it that's the kind of community that we have at AOU. and mm -hmm. then yeah so that's what i say be ready to learn and not learn so you learn to live with those kind of people if you have to and you have to be ready to unlearn something maybe to you it's bad so those people will go to hell but then <laughs> it's, it to them is heaven do you get it so that way you you learn to be used mm -hmm. to them do you get it and then you know how to unlearn what you already know do you get it and but still you know your life and you know you not do that yeah and the next tip is to be proactive like i said in the first tip owning your journey it's all ties to be proactive there are so many opportunities at aou but if you don't reach out none of them will be yours you get it i remember my first year i wasn't really i think i was having fun you know freshman year i'm just blending in making friends like getting to know people i could care less about any of the opportunities at AOU Center. but my second year was pretty awesome like i met amazing friends like i met this I don't know. I got into competition. I was able to participate in hot prize, and it was so much fun. Did you get it? And then I, I was also part of Brandstorm. I met two great ladies who happened to be in my court, and then we teamed up and we competed in this L'Oreal Brandstorm, and it was amazing. Like it was just nice to see how things were working. Like a lot of times when we reached out to AOU for aid and certain things, they helped. Did you get it? And if I did not find that team if i wasn't proactive to find myself into those kind of competitions i wouldn't know how much supportive ill you could be in such situations you get it so yeah be proactive try out as many opportunities that you want find teams work to people that you think maybe are hard working and could help you achieve the goal that you want work to them and join it form a team with them and then apply for competitions you get it. you don't even have to win it you just trying is enough honestly you trying you trying so smart you trying so hard and trying to reach the end goal alone is enough you get it and one day i'm sure it will work in your ways and you would win it you get it yeah and oh the fourth step by the way is don't hold grudges like remove talk about things that bothers you the most you get it if you have an issue with someone please don't go sit down mm -hmm. and think the person is in your mind and would understand how you are feeling please nobody cares like that unless you talk about it nobody really knows or maybe you, unless you just don't want to talk about it you're like oh maybe this person can never change let me just move on in my life and that's okay but when you think the thing is bothering you so much and you think the person knows and the person will walk to you and apologize and feel bad oh please sis bro it doesn't happen like that walk to people that you think that have offended you in any way walk to people that you think might have issues with you if you want to settle those issues and try to talk about it politely nicely talk about things like this don't go sit down and think that things to work your way if you have an issue with someone and you really care about the person please walk to the person talk about it there is nothing like i will never talk to this person again because probably you'll be in the same peer group with this person you'll be tied in together for a final project or something and then you have to live with this person to survive so yes please try to keep everything in a nice way end things right if you have to and then start things well you get it if you have to end something with someone end it right so that way you can live with the person you get it. you not really live with the person like that you can be in a group with a person without suffocating yourself or without killing yourself in the process okay so the last step i'll say is get involved get a job get a hobby or get a study internship you get it in my first year like i was saying i was like i don't need any job and 
I went low on cash number one and I realized I had so much time in hand that I felt so like I wasn't doing anything. You get and it was a bad feeling. Like then you have so much doubts, like you feel like everybody's doing something, you're not doing anything, and then you feel like you have so much hand in hand, you feel so disconnected to the community, they get it. Meanwhile, everybody's just getting busy in their life, they get it, it's finding their own hobbies. But in my second year, I applied for a study internship, I was a campus coordinator, aside getting extra cash, aside getting extra cash, oh my god. I didn't have time to waste like it's either i was awake or i was in class or i was home sleeping literally in between i didn't have time to waste you get it and it felt so good not having time to wander around and actually having some commitments you get it i don't know about you but please i can't have so much time without doing anything so if you know you're like me and then you just need to get involved with something to feel like you are working or something please get a steady intention don't be jobless like Otherwise, you would hate the community in a way. Or maybe you take yourself out if you don't need a steady internship to get yourself busy. Try to have a schedule that you'd be like 1 p.m. You know, if you're that kind of person, have a schedule and be like 1 p.m. Maybe I'll have siesta. 1 p.m. Maybe I'll go get ice cream with my friends. Make sure it's there is something going on in your life always. Otherwise, you won't enjoy the community. So yes, this is the end of my video. This is the five tips that I shared with you. I don't know. I, I try my best to share with you things that I learned in the process. Some things that i would i wish i had known before joining the community so let me know if you find them helpful let me know if you have any or okay so if you're a fresher and you're watching this and you're joining alu this september as well and you already have this pre-notion about alu and you want to clarify yes please my email will be in the description box just email me with your questions i'll gladly answer them probably in a dm if i if, if i can immediately or maybe schedule a call with you and then have this discussion over again with you so yeah if you watched this video from the beginning to the end thank you so much and subscribe to my channel share this video comment down below let me know I, I just want to connect with you guys i want to know if my videos are being watched just comment what you think and tell me more about or if you are returning if you're already part of the aou community also let me know which tips that i missed or if you agree with any of the tips i shared so yeah 